Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Agile and maneuverable is the way to describe the Eurocopter Tiger, a twin-engine multi-role combat helicopter developed and produced by Airbus Helicopters. This unique aircraft required the cooperation of Germany, France and Spain to be built. It was created based on the Tiger UHT prototype and is characterized as a highly controllable helicopter capable of performing high-speed turns and evasive maneuvers. Before the helicopter is going to be deployed to mission areas, the military forces have some considerations like the distance and accessibility to the deployment area. In the case of long distance transport, the helicopter is usually disassembled into its major components to be easily packed and loaded. When the aircraft arrives at the mission area, the components are unloaded and delivered to be assembled, where skilled technicians and engineers wait, equipped with their essential tools to reassemble the pieces. They start with the rotor blades, which are carefully aligned, balanced, checked and attached to the rotor hub. Afterward, elements like the wheels, actuators, and control mechanisms are attached to the helicopter, allowing the landing gear to work smoothly. Finally, specialized radar instrumentation such as ground mapping and the OSIRIS system are integrated into the aircraft's avionics. To prepare before each flight, the maintenance crew goes through a detailed checklist to carefully inspect the helicopter systems and components. By doing this, the crew ensures that during exercises the helicopter's performance and safety systems work properly during any kind of mission. This wide range of checks includes external inspection, rotor system evaluation, hydraulic system inspection, avionics, and weapon system inspection. These procedures show that the helicopter pilots and maintenance crews play a critical role by always keeping the helicopter ready to respond to any situation. After all the checkups, the crew proceeds to load the helicopter's weapons. This critical step-by-step -step practice ensures the helicopter is properly armed and ready for combat operations. During this process, the loading crew has access to the helicopter's hardpoints and the necessary tools and equipment for loading the weapons. And depending on the deployed mission and operation requirements, the appropriate weapons are selected and installed. During exercises, the capabilities and wide-range maneuvers of the Tiger helicopter can be demonstrated in full. Its quick and stable takeoffs result from the Tiger's highly powerful twin engines.
Pilots can accelerate quickly and have precise control of the aircraft thanks to a low inertia rotor system, which can also help perform full loops and negative G maneuvers. All of these capabilities give it the advantage of operating in confined spaces, such as small helipads or in rugged terrain. Also, its engine system can give the Tiger a fast altitude gain and a speed reaching up to 178 miles per hour. Adding to the maneuvering capabilities of the helicopter, it is worth mentioning the Tiger's formidable weapon platform, which is capable of engaging a wide range of targets with various armaments. In fact, having this range of weaponry allows the helicopter to adapt to several missions and become a versatile aircraft for tasks such as air combat, close air support, reconnaissance, and anti-tank warfare. The Tiger can be equipped with Mistral short-range air-to-air missiles, which gives the ability to engage enemy helicopters and light aircraft thanks to the heat-seeking technology added to these missiles. Another formidable aircraft design for military operations in challenging environments is the AW-159 light attack helicopter. It was developed by the Italian company Leonardo in response to the UK Ministry of Defense's Future Links program. This was also fueled by the need of the Italian army to renovate its military arsenal and equipment. The aircraft uses a Fenestron shrouded tail rotor, which reduces noise and signature making it stealthier in combat operations. On the other hand, the AW-149 is a medium-weight helicopter designed for a wide range of military and civil applications. For over a decade, Leonardo has been developing and testing the light multi-role missile. The company designed this lightweight missile to engage various targets, including land and maritime vessels, armored vehicles, and multiple aircraft. To be able to adapt to multiple situations, the missile can be launched from several platforms, including helicopters, ships, and ground vehicles. Successful tests of the LMM were conducted from the pannier of aircraft like the AW-159 helicopter. Just as powerful as the AW-159, the T-129 ATAK is a multi-role attack helicopter developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries in cooperation with Augusta Westland and Leonardo. Based on the A-129 Mangusta, this helicopter was extensively modified to meet the specific requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces by adding stronger engines like the CTS-800 and different avionics and optics to better suit the Turkish Army's necessities. Close air support to the troops is the main objective of this aircraft, but it can also be deployed for a large list of duties, such as air defense, 
anti-tank warfare, and reconnaissance. Due to this, the T-129 can carry a significant payload of weapons, including a 20mm cannon, anti-tank missiles, and air-to-air -air missiles. The military is confident in its tactical prowess by having a variety of sensors, like a forward-looking infrared camera and technology like hover and flight refueling capability, making the aircraft maintain its combat effectiveness for extended periods. They added advanced avionics that provide the pilot with real-time situational awareness and targeting capabilities, thanks to a digital cockpit and a helmet-mounted display. This aircraft has been operational with the Turkish Armed Forces since 2011, where it's been used in a variety of operations, including the Syrian Civil War, and the conflict against the PKK in southeastern Turkey. Through these missions, the helicopter has gained a good operational record and the respect of the military forces by being praised for its performance and reliability. Military technology advances constantly, and attack helicopters go along with it. They have remained a critical tool for military forces worldwide due to their ability to engage in various scenarios with various weapon systems. Having good maneuverability in challenging environments makes them ideal for close air support, reconnaissance, anti-tank warfare, and air defense missions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.